We're back at it. Come on. We are Bring back it. at it. Right, we're doing this all but, the time. But for the first time, we are not discussing Star Wars. Wow, I don't even know what that movie is right now. No one's asking me about it. What's going on? <laughs> well, I'm... I, I need to know everything that there is about Porgs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so do I. They're so cute. Good. I was like, man, what if John Wega hates Porgs? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're cute. They're rodents, but they're great. The only thing standing in front of the apocalypse... is us. You are a producer on this film. So yes. why was that important for you to get involved behind the scenes as well? I've always had the the, the ambition to, to creatively be involved in, in projects and in behind the scenes and, and producing was the best way for me to start. I have massive ambitions, so I decided to create my own company, Upper Room Entertainment, after Star Wars. I kind of reinvested into my creativity and wanted to build and, and, and collaborate with the best in Hollywood to make, you know, movies. Producers are kind of like the guardian angels of projects and each angel does a different thing. Um, and so for me, within the realms of, of, of creative collaboration, I, I definitely felt at home. So it was it's very, very important for me to be a part of that. How did you feel when you were named a sci-fi icon? That, that, that stuff is is crazy. I, I personally feel I've got a ways to go. I've just started and I'm finding my feet, um, even in terms of my craft as an actor, I'm continually studying and, and improving. And I and I feel uh, when I've earned it, I'll, I'll, I'll probably feel at peace. You know, for, but for now, I'm, I'm just involved in these projects and I, I really do appreciate it because I. I have to say that the support from the fans has been amazing since I first started out and, 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 I, and I thank you guys for coming on to this journey now, my new endeavour with me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice feeling. Okay, so I lied. I mean, this is Finn for crying out loud. Of course we're going to talk about Star Wars. Final question I got to ask you because JJ's coming back for episode nine. What do you say? What do you say? JJ nice couldn't stay away. He couldn't stay away. I, I, I emailed him and go, yeah, dude, is it because you missed me? He was like, yeah, yeah, it's because I missed you. So yeah, JJ's coming back. And you know, the weird thing about it, it feels like a full circle in a sense. He opened the, the movie. Ryan is going to shake it up in a crazy way. And now he's about to, to, to end, a, a, end a, a time and a journey in all these characters. So I'm excited for him. Get some sleep, JJ, because. You're about to work. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, he's the perfect person to bring these characters full circle. He knows yeah. them more than anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he, he started it. So it's, it's nice to know that he's going to finish this off.